Now, remember way back when, when we did the simple machines? You should folks should know all about this stuff. And we have some other gears and pulleys. Yeah. Like these. So, the idea is going to be again to build this machine. You get electricity for 30 seconds. And in 30 seconds, we see where the lanyard is to tie the two vehicles together. There will be a winner and a loser. I'm going to do a double uh, elimination match. And this is a test of your design and construction abilities. Good. Okay, so you read that the overall mass vehicle may not exceed five pounds. Okay. And this is important. And at some point, I was going to do it today, but it's not going to happen. I was going to find two of you who weigh about the same amount. I was going to put the two of you on skateboards and give you a rope. And what do you think would happen with this setup? So we have skateboard one, skateboard two, person here, person here, rope. Oh, sorry. What's going to happen when you pull on? Anybody in the classroom should actually do this. Uh, we have things like wheels. We could even use chairs. You know? We could use chairs, which would eliminate the falling off the skateboard. We have some rope. So, Will thinks even if only one person pulled, both people would move together. The, the wheels are, have no action being put on the wheels. Like, there's no motor attached to the wheel of the skateboard. Correct. So, when. The two guys standing on top pulled, nothing is... I'm or not two sure girls. Would, I'm not sure what would happen. I know, we're not sure what would happen. Noah, what do you think? Um, well, I think Will is spot on. Okay. No matter who's pulling, they're going to slowly move together. Well, they probably fall. They definitely fall. Maybe we should use chairs. Yeah, that okay. would be a safer alternative. Okay, so at some point today, I'm going to ask uh, you to come up with two people who will weigh, weigh the same. But not, not, not right now. 